Norfolk is my home county and I've been very lucky to work on aspects of its heritage for over 30 years as a historian and artist. I'm very proud of my Norfolk roots and I feel a great sense of responsibility to do justice to the memory of my predecessors through my work. For the last 18 months I've been on a journey with the local communities of Watton and the surrounding villages to discover what makes the area of Wayland special. The natural place to begin was with the ancient Wayland Wood. Its name comes from the Old Norse or Viking, Lundra, a grove or sacred grove. The Doomsday Book refers to the area as Wayland Hundred, showing that the wood was so important to the local Saxon community that the area was named after it. I find it amazing that the magical place of great trees, shady groves, carpeted with bluebells, has survived and is open for us all to still enjoy. But it has its darker side. It's known as the site of the Babes in the Wood story, where the two young children perished, lost in the wood at the hands of their wicked uncle. It's still possible to get lost in the wood. I did when I filmed this. As the owls started to call and the darkness fell, I began to sense the real power of the place. The image of the babes in the wood has been adopted as the town sign by the nearby market town of Watton. It's good to see how strongly the community still identifies itself as belonging to the ancient Wayland area. I love the way the town's high street has retained its character. At first sight, Watton has changed little from postcard views of the early 1900s, but if you look at the variety of shops and the signs, it's far more multicultural than it first appears. Following in the steps of the Vikings that first named Wayland, there is still a flow of newcomers from around the world coming to the area. I live just outside the Wayland area, but as a member of the Capturing Our Wayland Heritage project, I have a growing sense of belonging and of being part of the community. If I could drag my house into Wayland, I would. <laughs>